Welcome back to the stage of history. What's going on, YouTube? What's up? Welcome to a Lockout Men's Make the Call video. Uh, this is something different, something set up different. And wonder why it's set up different is because I made a video this morning. Um, you know, when I went over to the clinic right quick. And uh, I said I was going to put together a Lockout Men's Make the Call video. And this is the Make the Call video that I'm putting together for you guys. I am doing it per subscriber request. Um, the comment was made in this morning's video. And it comes from Chris Winsonak. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but his comment to me goes as follows. And you can probably see it right here. It's going to be somewhere around here, but you guys are going to see it as I read it. And it reads, hello, Mr. Lockout Man. Thanks so much for sharing experiences. Can you make call to Everett Express Cardinal Logistics and XPO Logistics if you hadn't already. I'm preparing to enter the trucking industry and I hear these companies are pretty good to start with. Thanks so much in advance, sir. Matt. Well, Matt, Chris, Matt. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and call you Matt since you put Matt at the end of it. So, Matt, for you, brother man, I will make the call to Everett. You want to know why I want to make the call to Everett? Because I called Everett some time ago, maybe about a year later down the line. Me and you both can find out to see how the recruiter going to react to me today. So, as you guys notice, I don't have my trusty computer because now I got, since I linked my computer with my phone, I am able to bring up my list of questions that usually be on my computer. I got it on my phone, all right? So let's get on the job. Let's give Everett a call. Let me see if I can find Everett in the driver pulse app. And by the way, uh, while I'm looking up Everett in driver pulse, that's what you guys need to download, Driver Pulse. If you haven't downloaded that yet, I highly suggest you uh, download it. It is a very good app, and actually they just updated the app as well. That's Driver Pulse right there. They just updated the app and made it a little bit more streamlined. If you're interested in Avert Express, to apply for a regional truckload driver position, a dedicated supply chain driver position, or a regional flatbed driver position, press 1. For all other calls, press 2. Please wait while your call is transferred. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Uh, yes, my name is uh, LaShawn. Uh, you say your name is, can you pronounce your name again for me, please? I didn't hear it. Judy. Judy, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. How can I help you? All right. Um, I'm just curious to know, uh, you, you're a recruiter, right? No, I'm not. I answer the phone for the recruiters. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would like to speak to a recruiter if it's possible. Well, we have a process, and after you fill out your application, which I see that you put in the application last year, um, they will give you a call once your background check and your work verifications and your employment history come through. It's okay for them to uh, proceed with you. They will give you a call directly. Um. Well, maybe I, I don't want them to, to do all of that. Is it possible that I can talk to someone that talk to someone about the company before I, I make my decision? I would be glad to help answer any questions that you have. Um, I, I have some specific questions. You think you can, you think you can 
You think you can answer? I think I can. All I right. Think so. Well, I'm asking questions not just for myself, but I'm I'm also asking for other people too. Uh, do you guys uh, do company sponsored uh, training for CDLs? We do not. No, okay. we don't. Okay. What's the higher areas you guys hire out of? In Ohio, it's Columbus, um, Cincinnati, and Springfield. Okay. Right well, now, we only have positions in Columbus. All right. What about other What about other areas of the U.S. Uh, we have service centers in from Texas East, mm -hmm. so it covers about 25 states. Where's the home office? Uh, our corporate office is in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay, for orientation. Uh, orientation is held in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, you, any service center that you want to work at, you have to live within 150 miles of that service center for most positions, some closer. Okay. Local positions, of course, would be closer. Do you guys offer a sign-on bonus, and if so, how much is how much is it, and how is it paid out? Uh, that varies, and it's usually paid out in uh, three month and six month increments. All right. Well, you say it varies. So, what's the, what's the amount for a driver that that has more than a that has more than a six months experience? What what is uh, okay? It's it's based more on what account it is for. Mm -hmm. uh, right now in Cincinnati, uh, we have three dedicated accounts that are offering a $2,000 sign-on bonus. Uh, through the end of September, 1000 would be paid at three months and 1000 at six months. Okay. And that is excluding students. That's only for experienced drivers. Are you guys willing to, to match uh, another company's offering if I get offered a let's say five cent more at one company and yeah. I decide to come with you guys, would you guys be able to match no. that? Okay. No, we're not. Do you guys? We just have. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's just whatever, whatever that position pays is what it pays. Okay. Okay. Do you guys require a hair follicle test for pre-employment drug screening? It could be either or urine or hair follicle. All right. Do you guys require an, an, an agility test? What is that? Uh, like climb up and down, duck walk up. You do that, right? Um, I don't know that they do a test, but there, it is one of the requirements that you're able to be able to get in the truck from the ground up. Uh, for most of the positions, um, so yes. Okay. Okay. What's your What's your policies on felons? Uh, we do uh, accept felons. You, it is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. You already told me where the orientation is held. Do you get paid for orientation? And how long yes, is orientation? Do. Uh, orientation is Monday through Thursday, and you're paid. Um, the recruiter will go over what your pay amount will be. Uh, if you're an experienced driver, usually it's somewhere between seven and eight hundred dollars. You did mention students, right? How long is the wait time for a trainer for students? Uh, you mean for you to be trained after you get hired? Yeah. If you're a student? Yeah, so if I'm a student, how long do I got to wait for a trainer? That's something that um, the recruiter would go over with you, but usually it's the next week after recruit after orientation. What's the uh, what's the typical experience of an average trainer there? How much experience that they got? Uh, usually they have to work for Avery first, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not sure how much experience is necessary. Still on the subject of student trainer, what's the pay doing training? That will vary. Um, but it's usually eight hundred dollars a week. Okay. Uh, usually. It'll be for one to five weeks uh, for a dedicated account and uh, one to three weeks for a regional account if you have at least four months experience. After training, are you forced to team? No, only if you apply for a team position. What's the CPM now? I'm talking as an experienced driver now. I got three years. So what would be my starting, my starting base CPM? Okay. Each account will be different. Uh, our, for your area, mm -hmm. um, for a, a regional account, you would start at 46 cents a mile. For a dedicated, um, let me see, a dedicated flex is one of our higher paying, let's see if we have one in your area. We do not have one in your area right now. But a dedicated flex um, 
will make anywhere from sixty-five to seventy-three thousand a year. Right. De dedicated pod storage units. You stay out two to three weeks at a time. That may get up higher than that. You know, that may be a little more. Uh, also, for team drivers, I think they make up to eighty. Okay. Is the base is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale? And that would be straight miles, and we use Ren McNally Classical Road Gun, okay. not HHD. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot. Of, you've got a lot of questions here. I want to definitely make sure I do my homework on on, on right, all the companies right. that I'm interested in, because like I said, right. I'm, I'm not only asking for myself, but I'm asking for other people as well. Right. All right. So if I if let's say I'm driving for you and I already know the first week it's going to be ugly, you know, as far as as far as getting paid. Do you guys offer pay advances? Um, they do uh, pay advance, yes. Um, I don't know how much. I think up to $150 maybe. I do know that um, we pay weekly via direct payroll deposit. And when you come to orientation, there you're going to go Monday through Thursday. You're not going to get paid that next day, but you'll get paid that next Friday for orientation. And they will give you a certain amount of money to get to work that first week um, to help you get you know, but you'd be able to buy whatever you need, you know, type thing. Your recruiter will be able to go more detail with things that you're asking, uh, but this is the general. I got you, and this all, and this is basically all I'm looking for is general information, by the way. Okay. How often do you guys get pay increases? You know, some of the um, dedicated accounts will tell me, you know, that uh, you'll have uh, start out at 46 cents a mile, and then in six months you'll go to 44. Like here's one that you start out at 42 cents a mile. That's a dedicated account in Cincinnati, uh, and then you top out at 44 in a year. Okay. Um, but you know, that not all of them will tell me that. But your recruiter would be able to tell you anything that you applied for as far as uh, pay increases. But we don't always know. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It is not offered. All right. Do you offer vacation and holiday pay? That is uh, something that you accrue based on the time working with us. It's up to eight weeks. Um, you're given eight paid holidays after 90 days. Your benefits you receive. Right now we have Cigna health insurance, but it's changing to Blue Cross Blue Shield in January. Mm -hmm. So you receive your uh, health insurance your um, dental, your vision, your prescription, and hearing for $30.55 a week for an individual and seventy five seventy for a family. Well, that's not bad. That's that's not bad. Actually, that's and eight, eight, eight paid holidays. We also have profit sharing, 401k, and Roth IRA. Okay. Uh, can you uh, can you break down the holiday, holidays that are paid? You said it's eight. So what are they? Mm, let me see. Like you don't have to mention Christmas and the, uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let's see. You were funny. <laughs> 2018, New Year's Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, two days for Thanksgiving and two days for Christmas on New Year's Day in 2019. How about uh, how about breakdown in detention pay? Detention pay, that just came, let's see if I can find out for you. Detention pay was raised from 14 uh, an hour to $20 an hour. Okay, okay, and that's uh, okay. and that's coming off after, what, uh, two, two hours? Right. How often do layovers happen? Well, okay. it depends on the account, I guess, um, and what's going on. I, I, the recruiter might be able to give you more information on that. It probably depends on the account in the area. Do you guys require hazmat? It uh, depends on the position. For all of our local positions, we require that you have your hazmat and tanker and one full year of tractor-trailer experience in the past three years. But not all of our positions require hazmat now. So if I decide if... Well, of course, I, I don't have my hazmat, but if I decide to go and get my hazmat, would you guys re reimburse me for that? We we would if it's a regional position. If it's a local position, no. We expect you to have it at the time of application. Okay. Um, but normally, we would reimburse you for that, yes. So the, 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 the different divisions that you guys have, y'all got tanker, flatbed, uh, we actually don't have tanker. Our tanker is just for the containers and totes that uh, we use. Uh, they require that you have your tanker endorsement, but we don't have tankers. Oh, okay. Uh, so I did mention flatbed, so y'all got that, right? We do. Uh, what about what about 
a reefer division. Do you guys have that? We do have some reefer, yes. How many miles a week uh, a driver can average? Well, it depends on the account, uh, but our, our regional account is usually about 2100. 2100, all right. Now, of course, if you're doing dedicated pod storage units, you may have like um, 2732 or something like that. Our, our team shuttles are over 5,000. Uh, so it just depends on the account. Okay, you, you, you mentioned, you, you keep mentioning uh, storage units. What, what is that? Pods? Uh, yes, pod storage units. We have their account. Okay. And so that take, that takes you, that's the account, one account that we keep you out for longer. Most of our accounts, we try to get you home on the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that pod storage unit account keeps you out two to three weeks at a time. Um, that you even have to take your reset on the road sometimes. Uh, so if you work two weeks, you get two days off, three weeks, three days off. Okay. Other than the, other than the pods, you don't have to go like extensive. What other accounts that you guys have available for us? Uh, well, are you talking about in Ohio? It's in, in Cincinnati right now. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that because, like I said, I, I don't okay. want you to. I don't, right. I don't want you to play. Okay. Like, okay. What we have right now is a dedicated account with Chew Carnival. Uh, that's in Cincinnati. That would be um, picking up, uh, doing your route uh, from picking up things from Evansville, Indiana and taking them to the shoe carnival stores. Now that does keep you five to seven, you have five to 10 delivery stops, and that is also covers all 48 states, but they run from Sunday morning and end Thursday night, so you have Friday and Saturday off. So you're gonna average 2,450 miles on that account. Now let me ask you, let me, and, let me stop you right there. Um, is that driver assist unload, or do the guys, when you take it to the stores, they unload it? Okay, that, uh, the driver has to move the product to the back of the trailer and assist customers, conveyor rollers will be provided to assist the driver. So yes, you do get a loading pay of 13 and a half cents per piece for store delivery and loading pay of 13 and a half cents per piece for store transfer, uh, like uh, distribution center returns and pickups. So on the average, you can earn an additional hundred dollars per trailer for loading, unloading pay. Continue you would other than shoe carnival. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now that is starting out at forty-eight cents a mile, top out at forty-nine within twelve months. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the next uh, position available. We have is a regional position. It covers twenty-five states. You average twenty-one hundred miles. It's a hundred percent no touch rate, and you're starting out at forty-six cents a mile. Now that does not give me a uh, when you're going to get a raise. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's something you need to talk to the recruiter about. It says that you average $1,200 a week. Um, you do have stop layover breakdown and detention pay. Okay. Now we have something called um, minimum mileage pay that if you run your route and they have some extra things they want you to do, um, if you have to do a, a run that's 200 miles away, uh, the minimum mileage pay says if you go 200 miles, you're going to be paid for at least 400 miles. Uh, if they have a two-day load and it's less than 800 miles, even if it's 500 miles, they're going to pay you for 800 miles. Are all miles paid for, and you already mentioned that it's calculated by uh, Ram and Natalie, but is all the miles right. paid for? Time you pull out of the service center until you get where you're going and back. Yes. Uh, I think you're paying for all mileage. Yes. All right. Do you guys have an idle policy? Well, you mean, or if you're just sitting at a truck stop for two hours or something? Yeah. Can can we idle the trucks? Yes. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure. I know no, they do have like a uh, it's called rapid rewards that it, that if you meet specific fuel and service goals, uh, they give you points that you can in return use for gifts, twelve thousand gifts that you can choose from. Okay. type of thing. So that, I guess that would, you know, cut into your fuel efficiency, but I don't know really uh, how much that actually does. Um, as far as we do have another dedicated account, two other dedicated accounts actually, uh, in Cincinnati that are open right now. We have one um, that you would be delivering hardware um, uh, freight to hard, it's a pal size. Mm -hmm. Freight to uh, hardware distributors throughout the South, Midwest, and Northeast. Uh, primarily, the route uh, takes you from Louisville, Kentucky, to 
Texas, Florida, Wisconsin, Iowa, Carolina, Michigan, and occasionally Pennsylvania. On rare occasions, we have routes that run to the West Coast for that dedicated account. Drivers are home by Friday 80% of the time. The other 20 can vary, but usually no later than Saturday by noon. Uh, most of the drivers average 2,100 miles uh, for that with a guaranteed minimum, which is very unusual, uh, of 1,500 miles per week. And you get a stop pay of $15 um, and you average stop, uh, five stops per week. That starts out at 42 cents a mile, tops out at 44 in a year. Uh, do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Yeah, we have what's called a pre-pass plus that pays for your tolls. What's the percentage of dropping hooks there, you know? Um, well, it just depends on which condition that you get. Some are totally just dropping hooks, you know. Okay. Uh, often. Their, their drop and hook. We have one that's available in Cincinnati. This is the last one that's available. The dedicated, the average 25, 35 av uh, miles per week. It run, uh, the run leaves out on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, back home on Friday or Saturday, and it's pulling preloaded Conestoga. Mm -hmm. Rolling top system with fitted freight. So you, uh, all you have to do is unstrap um, to unload. There are some back calls on that one. Uh, load procurement protection is supplied. You're home every week, uh, and there are three route options. So on that one, you leave out of Jefferson, Indiana. Uh, one, you leave out, wait, that one. Another one, you leave out of Jefferson, Indiana. And the other one, you work with a chain supply account Monday to fill the miles. So you basically uh, go out toward Columbus and deliver uh, the next stop to Richmond, New York. So you get a $100 bonus if you do New York City. Um, in South Winchester, Windsor, uh, Connecticut. Then you come back to Jeffersonville, Indiana. Okay. That's 40, 42 cents a mile, 44 uh, within, a, within a year. We, we talked about home time, you know, throughout the, uh, throughout the course of our conversation. Uh, and I don't want to go, I don't want to reiterate the home time policy because you, you have mentioned it several times. But what is the maximum amount of days I can actually take off? So you said that some of the accounts that would, that can get me off every, you know, like every weekend or something like that. But what if right. I want to, what if I want to take more than just a weekend off? What if I want to take about three or four days off? What's my maximum well, amount of days I can take off? That depends on how long you've worked with us, probably, and also, um, you know, you planning ahead probably would affect that. That's something you want to talk to your recruiter about. I don't really know the answer to that. What's the pet and rider policy? No pets. Spot legal spouse only. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you just said only my wife can roll, uh, can roll with me? Yes. So no girlfriends, no... Right. What about kids? Nope, just your wife. Oh, okay. Now you mentioned uh, no, uh, the Northeast. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Northeast, but is there force dispatch to NYC or California? New York City is always optional. And uh, very rarely, um, very rarely would you ever go to California unless you're in the pod storage unit. Okay. You would have to. Here's one that uh, that that I, that just come to mind. I was gonna say, how long did it take you to come up with all these questions? Yeah, you must have been working on this list for a while. Yeah, good question. <laughs> every time I talk to a, every time I talk to a driver, I always add that extra question because you know they said if you want to know about a company, talk to the driver. Use those same questions and talk to the recruiters to keep the recruiters honest. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Right. Uh, well, Here's, here's what I want to say in there, let me just interject this, that if you've talked to some of our drivers, that's where we get most of our, that's where we get so many referrals. Okay. Uh, if you've checked, if you've looked at Google reviews, you will see that we're a very honest company. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to, Averett wants to present themselves as very professional, they want their drivers to be professional. So uh, we provide you with um, uniforms. You get to choose the style or whatever that you want, but that is something that is provided. Uh, since you mentioned that uniforms, uh, do we have to wear the uniforms? Yes. Oh, okay. So listen, 
if I decide to quit, if I decide to quit after you know working with you guys for a while, what's the policies for turning in the truck? Well, we're just saying that you just take it back to your service center. Otherwise, it would be abandonment. All right. Now, let me ask you a question about abandonment. Um, so, if I decide to take it back to the terminal, all right, and I say, I, I, I call up my fleet manager and I say, hey, uh, I'm done. I want to go ahead and bring the truck back to you. Um, uh, where you want me to take the truck to? Will I still get in trouble if I decide to bobtail the truck all the way back to that terminal that he wants me to take it to? I don't know about that. You need to talk to the recruiter about that. Okay. Because I, I talked to one driver that had that, had that issue, and I, I said I was going to definitely ask that. Uh, right. She had that issue so they, with a company that, you know, that... So she, that she they dropped the freight off. That left the trailer. No, she the, she dropped the freight. She dropped the freight off uh, at the you know at the delivery, but right. she took her home time. She took her home time and she called up her her fleet manager and said, "Yo, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the truck on in." But the fleet manager told her she has to hook up to that. She had to go and pick up a load. If she didn't pick up that load and brought the tra uh, brought the tractor straight back to the to the uh, to the yard, they were still going to charge her with abandonment. Do uh, you do you guys do, would you guys do something like that to a driver? I I don't know. I really don't know how to answer that, Latron. Okay. Um, I talked to, I talked to a recruiter about that. Okay. Usually the recruiters are, are pretty honest um, about things because they don't want you to get in trouble and they don't want us to leave. You know, be without. This is my last few questions, and it's about the truck, about the equipment. What equipment do you guys offer? Most of our trucks are, well, all of our trucks are automatic with APUs, uh, with safety features. They're usually about what you're going to get is usually about two to three years old. Sometimes it's new equipment. Uh, all of it is in good repair. Like I said, they're real big on. Um, professionalism. They want their trucks looking good, they want their people looking good, everything looking good. But That's right. how long have you been I mean you 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 can make a good recruiter. I mean well you know your stuff and even the stuff that you yeah. didn't know you was able to look it up for me and still right, answer right. answer the questions that I had. Thank you. That is so freaking awesome. Yeah, you're quite, you're quite welcome. Awesome. I choose to answer the phone. It's just a little less stressful okay. and uh, I enjoy it. So I'm just going to do what I enjoy. All right. How long you been? Uh, how long you been? Well, thank you. Uh, it says, I've been with the company um, 10 months. 10 months? Man, for mm -hmm. for 10 months time, you, you do you do know a lot about now. How do you pronounce the company name? Avery. Avery. Okay, Avery mm -hmm. Trucking. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. if the, so if there's any other, if there's any other details I need to find out about Avery, what's the website I need to go to? AveryCareers.com. AveryCareers.com. Well, Judy, thank you, thank you very much. You're, I do appreciate the welcome. time. I do appreciate the time and your honesty and. And it was just, to be honest with you, it was really a joy and a pleasure talking to you today. Well, I feel the same, and I hope things go well with you, LaShawn. I hope you find just the right job for you. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. And if anybody else is interested in Avery, I would definitely send them your way. All right, I appreciate it. Thank right. you so much, LaShawn. You have a good day. You too, now. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Bye-bye. There you have it. Damn it, man. All right, Avery Trucking, man. Okay, let, let me get it, let me, woo! Let me tell you guys, it was, a, it was awesome talking to Judy on uh, Avery Trucking, man. I mean, she wasn't a recruiter, you know, as she said in the beginning, she's the person that takes all the information down. She's the person that, 
that sends out the application where you have to fill it out and all that good stuff. And then after you fill it out, then the recruiter will call you back, which is awesome. Now, the same questions that I asked her definitely asked the recruiters. The answer, I mean, the questions that I had for her, some of the questions that she couldn't answer, she was able to find out for me. It was a joy talking to that one. I'm for real, Judy, thank you very much. If you see this video, thank you very much. You did an awesome, awesome, awesome job on, uh, on the questions. What you guys think of that call? I mean, if, talk to your boy. Let me know what's up. Leave your comments in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up and let me know what you guys think of Avery's trucking. Now, let me go over the rhetoric. Let me know who you want me to call next. Leave it in the comments below, all right? If you guys have any questions that you want me to ask these recruiters, definitely leave that in the comments below. And as always, tell me who you want me to call next. Because I got ideas on who to call next, but I do this for you guys. So you tell me who to call next. You know what I'm saying? All right. With that said, thank you very much. Shout out to uh, Judy at Avery. If you guys are interested with Avery, definitely give them a call and see if Avery Trucking is right for you. Until the next time, I am Lockout Men, and I will make the call for you.